Hi guys, so after recently trying out the comic book style painting, I really wanted to try out some more. And as I've got loads and loads of bits and pieces left over, obviously my little miniature bits box here, um, yeah, I'm actually doing some like orc kit bashing conversions into superheroes, as I think they would work really well with the uh, the comic book styles or painting. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do here. And obviously, as you can see from the uh, the thumbnail, the first one I'm doing in this sort of style is good old Hellboy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be going doing quite a few sort of different superheroes. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, if there's any superhero you'd like to specifically see me do. Um, and yeah, I will see if I've got the parts to be able to kit bash them. So as you can see, some of the boxes I've got, they have got like part made orcs already up. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to be able to tell you where some of these bits come from. As, yeah, as I say, some of these bits have already been glued together in whatever box set they came from. So the only thing I've really done with this guy, um, I've chopped off an arm. Just because obviously I want to give him the big arm that uh, Hellboy has. Uh, this, this part was 3D printed on my uh, my Anycubic Photon Mono X, uh, but obviously everything else is uh, is a Warhammer figure. So for his little horns on top, um, yeah, good old sprues. Obviously these can be used for kind of like all sorts, uh, but in this case, yeah, I'm going to just cut off a few little bits of this round bit of sprue, and they're going to be uh, well, they're going to be the horns that were on his head that were sort of cut off. So yeah, good old sprues to the rescue. And that's him done. So yeah, I didn't have to do too much with this dude. Uh, yeah, stuck a nice big gun on his back. Uh, but that was kind of pretty much it. But obviously Hellboy does have a tail. Uh, yeah, because I did obviously have a look up some reference pictures. Just to see exactly, uh, well, how he looked really. Um, and yeah, he does have a tail. Which I must admit, I can't remember him actually having in the films. Although it's been a while since I've watched any of them. So good old green stuff here. Um, yeah, again, my flat is really cold at the moment. So this green stuff is almost rock hard. Uh, so it took quite a while to uh, to mix obviously the blue and the uh, the yellow to well make it green, um, and then yeah just roll it out like a little sausage. Again, this is where what I might start doing is I might start uh, buying more and more sort of tools, um, just because I don't really have many tools to sort of use with sort of green stuff or clay. Uh, but if I'm going to do more kit bashing, then perhaps I should uh, get a few little bits and pieces, as in like a nice sort of roller. Uh, maybe one of these like plastic um, sheets that you roll the, the stuff out on just to keep it nice and clean because I'm sure my desk well isn't all that clean and then yeah obviously no slap chop here this is uh, just primed in white and then well still gonna slap some paint on uh, <laughs> and yeah so I'm using nice bright colors uh, although what I should have done looking back is I should have done him an even darker red to have then done this red because uh, ideally this is the kind of red I would have liked him to have been sort of on top really um, but again, I'm still sort of obviously new to this. This is only my second miniature that I'm painting in the comic style book. Um, and obviously the last three, three and a bit months, my only sort of go-to painting style has been the slap chop and using contrast paints. So to use normal paints obviously is a little bit different. So yeah, I am using uh, thin coats here. So I've got it on a wet palette just to obviously water the paint down a little bit. Just makes it easier to get on. So it's not thick, it's not clumpy. Uh, but it does then obviously make it look a little bit translucent in areas. Um, this red still isn't too bad, it's still quite thick. Although I did actually go over with the red and do two coats. So what I did, obviously, so you can see the red is nice and solid in colours. Uh, but all the colours I'm going to use now are sort of like pretty thin. Um, and that's why this definitely is a two coat job. Um, but yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm going to go over the whole figure and do the one coat first of all the colours. Uh, and then once that's all dried, then I'll be able to go over with the two. Apologies for the video, guys. Uh, unfortunately, my PC, I've had for about 10 years now. Uh, I think it's on its last legs. And it's the PC I use to do the video in with. As in, I use the little webcams. Um, normally it's fine. But sometimes, because it is getting a bit old, it seems to, uh, well, have a few issues in sort of capturing the video in a good way. Uh, so maybe Santa Claus might need to bring me a new PC. But hey ho, anyway, enough waffling, let's get back to how this thing looks. And yeah, just painting it with all the different colours. So while I'm doing that, I will do a quick shout out and thank you to all my lovely patrons for supporting the channel, as well as Easy World of Dice and Any Cubic for sponsoring the channel. So yeah, cheers guys, much appreciated. I say it's with your help that I can, uh, well, I can continue to make more and more videos, which is pretty cool. So yeah, obviously this process, it does take quite a bit longer than uh, the good old Slap Chop. Um, slap chop, I can do one of these figures in uh, 20 minutes, half hour, 
Uh, but this dude probably took near on, again, about two hours, I think. Um, so it isn't too bad. And I must admit, uh, the first one I did of these, I did take probably a bit longer than that. Um, just because it was the first time. And I really wasn't sure how it was going to come out. So I was kind of enjoying the painting, but not that much. Because I, uh, I was pretty nervous, to be honest, trying something different. Uh, but with this chap, uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed it a lot more. So I do love the slap chop because it is nice and quick and the end result I just love. Um, but with this guy, I think I almost had more enjoyment from him. Um, just because I think I took longer with him and I was lo really looking forward to how obviously he was going to come out and what I needed to do. So yeah, but again, this sort of technique isn't something I'll be doing for like loads of miniatures. Um, as in all my kill teams will probably still be done in the slap chop method just because that is my preferred go-to. Um, but yeah, for any of these sort of, especially these ones that I'm doing the kit bashing, uh, yeah, these will be uh, probably done in the comic style, just because I think it will look pretty cool with the superheroes to uh, to look this way. And I'm also thinking about doing some sort of dioramas, uh, building like a 3D diorama, but then still, again, painting it like a slap chop method. So when you sort of take a picture of it, it should look pretty flat, uh, which would be cool, because I do like trying new things. So yeah, obviously adding the highlights here, this is where I say, I think with the uh, the red that I did, I really should have done a sort of like a dark red, maybe even a dark purple, uh, and then done the red over the top. Because the uh, the orange I used over him, you can barely see it, um, but it is sort of subtly there. Uh, and again, this sort of thing, when if you do ever go doing this guys, when you're doing this stage, if, if you are new to doing highlights and all the rest of it, with this you don't need to blend any of the highlights in. Uh, in fact, you almost want them to sort of like stand out from the colour underneath. Um, and yeah, when I was doing this, it it kind of looked pants for the whole thing. I mean, I was having fun doing it because it was just like, well, the end result should look good. You just got to persevere through this bit where it kind of looks a little bit messy and I don't know, almost like a, like a, a kid's painted it. Uh, but he's had a blindfold on. So like even these bits, I am just almost nearly willy in uh, putting some highlights on. Obviously on raised areas, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously doing highlights that possibly wouldn't be highlighted because the, uh, the, the sun or the light that was hitting him, the light source possibly wouldn't get to. Um, but for the for these kind of figures, because you can obviously hold it up in all kinds of directions, you kind of want light areas, well, I think, everywhere. Um, but again, yeah, so I'm doing this and I'm looking at it thinking this just looks, yeah, this looks pants, man. Um, but again, because I know how the other one turned out, it is a case of just doing it, having fun, persevering. Uh, don't worry too much. Or in this case, I'm not worrying at all. I'm just having fun with it. Um, so yeah, so I would say, guys, have a go at doing it. But just don't give up. You need to keep persevering and going through. So yeah, that's him all done now. And now it is a case of doing the black line. Again, this is always a bit of a nervous thing. Obviously, I've only done it twice. Um, because it is a case of, obviously, you want to try and do thin lines. But sometimes they come out quite thick. Um, but again, it doesn't really matter. I've had a look at a few cartoon sort of comic books online, and you look at the sort of the, the brush marks, the pen marks, however they've drawn them. Uh, yeah, some lines are thick, some are thin, some are thin then thick. Um, yeah, again, just have fun. So that's what I'm doing with this guy. Um, and I've, I think I was probably smiling throughout painting this, um, just because I, I was having fun. And it was a case of, well, whatever happens, happens. Um, it's meant to look like it's drawn freehand. And that's definitely how it's going to look when it comes out. Um, so because some of the brush lines are nice and thin. Some are pretty thick. I was thinking about going over afterwards and just sort of tidying it up. So the good thing with this sort of style painting is, if you do do a thick black line, don't worry about it. If it really is that bad and it's going to play on your mind, then just get some uh, paint of the same colour as underneath and just touch it up at the end. Um, I say that, I was thinking about doing that, but then I thought, nah, I kind of like it how it is. And then, yeah, last thing, the sort of, uh, well, this guy, obviously he's got a bit of a beard going on. Um, I didn't make the beard additional to him. I thought it would just be easier, obviously just painting uh, the beard and big old sideburns on him. Um, but yeah, I say, I'm really pleased with how this, this dude looks. Um, definitely looks like Hellboy. Uh, obviously, I didn't have to do too much, as I say, of kit bashing or conversion with this dude. Uh, but I'm sure I will with some others and yeah, say so the green stuff I'm definitely going to see if I can get some uh, just a few little tools just to help out um, 
ideally I'm like making these like cloaks or well just additional bits that they may may or may not need. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, which superheroes or villains uh, you'd like to see me make? Uh, obviously, most of the um, the kit bashing stuff that I've got will be orcs. I do have a few space marines, uh, but yeah, in general, most of the uh, the figures I've got are orcs. So it could be well be a lot of orc superheroes. And yeah, like I said there, the last little bit is doing all the little hash lines here and there. Again, no real pattern to this. If you see a large area, uh, yeah, fill it with some hash lines rather in the center. Or do a few lines from the edge sort of coming upwards. Um, again, yeah, just it's just having fun. It really is, yeah, again, I, 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 kinda, I keep saying again now. Um, yeah, I really did enjoy painting this just because it, it was kind of like, yeah, do what you want. Have a bit of fun with it. And yeah, there he goes. I'm yeah, so I'm really pleased how he came out. Um, yeah, quite simple, but fun. And again, you need to persevere, get through the stage of it looking a bit pants, and just keep going. Just keep going. Um, yeah, time to take the uh, little bits off the bottom, clean up the uh, the base, stick him on one of my uh, clear bases, and this is how he looks when he's done. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so I certainly enjoyed making him and painting him. And yeah, I can't wait to do some more superheroes. Uh, I'm definitely looking at doing Wolverine, Deadpool, maybe Hulk, Iron Man, Captain America. Yeah, loads more. But yeah, you guys let me know in the description who you'd like to see. And maybe I'll do them next. Okay guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, eat cookies. All that wonderful good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.